first find and it's a clay marble. So we are back at the tip and there's lots of fresh diggings here. This is very fresh and I've just spotted something here look and it's porcelain and it looks very swan like. It is. <laughs> it's a swan head. And swan ornaments were extremely popular in Victorian and Edwardian Britain for some reason. We often find swans at tips. But we've got some bottles here, some nice um, aerated water, like pop bottles. And what's that? Oh, that's interesting. It's a clay pipe, but look at the end. It's been modified on the end, look. See how it's been shaved down? That's really cool. It's got a chip, but I really like the modified end of it, so I might keep that one. Um, these ink bottles, or well, they had different uses, but last time we were here, we left behind a huge pile of them and then regretted it because um, we in the past have made like candle holders out of them with like old fashioned labels. And um, yeah, we left behind a huge pile. So hopefully this time there'll be some for us to take. Oh, and up here, I spotted something. Look, something else I like finding. Part of a doll's head, but it's knackered. There's not much of it left. If there was more of the face at the bottom, I would have kept it because we put these in like little plant pots and then like grow um, like succulents out the top. But yeah, there's not much of that left, just the neck. Gonna take some more of these though. There's a pipe ball there. Oh, it's got a hand on it. Very common. Not sure if I'll take that, but we'll put it in a pile up here. Hello! Hello. So today we're back at the big rubbish tip. It's giant and it's extra giant, look. <laughs> We've got loads, look on here. Um, and it's a nice sunny autumn day as well. It is. Another it's one. Beautiful, beautiful. So we had to get out while we had the chance. So it's the storm, there's a storm approaching. Oh yeah, there is, yeah. I think it's hitting Tonight? Britain today. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I think. Yeah. So, let's do it. There's a nice little polishing paste jar here. That's so cute. I think I'll keep that one. There are just dozens and dozens of bottles lying around here. What is this? It's made of wood. Oh, I like it. It's a thing. I would like that. I'm going to take that. It's made of wood. Wood survived all this time. Okay, so this is the strange wooden object that I found after it's been cleaned up. And you can see that it's black and uh, we think that's some sort of um, preservative pitch based probably. Mm. So what it would have been is the finial of the gable end of a house or the gable of a door canopy or yeah. porch or the end of a greenhouse. And you can see it's sort of stepped there where it would have fit onto a piece of wood and the roof would have gone across that way. So yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, and we'll show you some pictures of that actually because you yeah. found some pictures of it. So I really like it and it's amazing how it survived. And we think that that was some sort of pitch preservative that's being used on there. 
And you can see it's got these nice decorations and comes to a nice point at the top. Actually, you can see what looks like green. Here. Yeah, there's been several layers of paint. Um, I think the first layer was a lovely pale sort of um, sage green and then it had been painted white. But I'm going to use this in something we make. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love it. Bottles, broken pottery, the usual, but I notice this has something written on it. Uh, what's that say? Morning and... oh, something. So, oh no, I can't read that. It's too cursive. And something? Um, if you can read what this says, because I'm really bad at reading <laughs> cursive writing, let us know down below. I think the first word might be morning and the second word is and, but I don't know what the rest of it says. Right, so I've gathered, gathered? I've gathered a collection of bits and bobs here. I've got this little pot, which we really like these little pots. Um, we've been like decorating them and then selling them at um, the fair we're at this year. If you're interested, um, yeah, there's some posts on our social media about it. But anyway, we've got some bottle stops. These are swing top bottle stops. There's a different one there. Um, pipe bowl it's just a plain one and it's got a chip so I think I'll leave that here um, and a little bottle but it's full of I don't know what some dodgy looking stuff so I think I'll leave that too so I'm going to take the bottle stops and I'm going to take the cell pot because I like it look at the size of the lip on this bottle that's beautiful I love that James Dunbar bottle James Dunbar. Edinburgh. But I've never seen one with a lip like that. There's more wood that survived over a hundred years and some shoes that boots. So leather and wood has been surviving um, in this ground which makes it more interesting, um, the kind of things you could find. So let's see what else we can find. Ooh, a lens. A lens of some kind. And I've got a pipe bowl with a hand on it. It's in good condition, I'll take that. But look at this. That looks fresh. We're going to go and look down here first. This bit, not so fresh. But still, the rain washes new things out all the time. Oh, that pipe bowl. Yeah, it's a bit crispy. And a marmalade jar. And obviously lots of bottles. There's another jar there, look. Oh, and another ink, look. Oh no, it's got a chip. Leave that as well. Mum's probably already seen it. Looks like a tooth. Look at that big old tooth. Like a horse's tooth, maybe? Like one of the front teeth? And what's in here? This is a fresh looking. Hole. Hmm. Nothing that I can see. But I quite like the tooth. We've got a collection of these horse teeth now. I quite like them. Here's a nice little part. And here's a nice little part also. Ink pot. So I might keep these. There's a stopper, but we've got loads of those, so I'll leave that one. Lots of bottles for people that want them. Oh, there's a plant pot. It is damaged, but... Snail. 
it's repairable, so I'm going to keep that as well. Oh, lots of treasures. And here's another teapot lid that's whole. To put my jars, keep that. I don't usually keep all these large things. But we're doing a fair soon, so we can sell them. Pound spots. Swing stopper and a little pot, which I might take. There's a ceramic caster wheel here, which I'm collecting because I'm making them into massive beads. So I put I pop this down, but oh my goodness, a little caterpillar right next to it. I didn't even see that. Hello, fairy little guy. Anyway, as I was saying, the um, bottle digger picked this up for us. And I think I know what it is. I think that is a desk inkwell. Because it's sitting like that and he picked it up. It looks quite unusual, doesn't it? But see how it's glazed inside and kind of curved on the bottom? It would have like gone into a desk like that or some sort of holder but I'm not sure but I think that's what it is I think I'm right that's quite funky but right next to it look at that can you see oh look a doll's lid we'll go in our doll's lid collection which is quite vast nowadays it's another collection we need to show everyone see there's another pair of um Vulcanite bottle tops. What's that? Oh look! It's a little lid. It's another lid. It's like this is like a tin one. It's a little like a lit toy tin lid. I don't think we've ever found one as big as that before. That's so cute. I like that. Don't say this is another lid. You've got to be kidding me. That's a third doll's toy lid I found in a row. This one's all patterned look. We've never found the, a whole teapot, like a doll's teapot, that these go on. Well, we've never found one a whole anyway. Well, that's quite impressive. Three in a row, including that little one. Pipe bowl. It's got a hand on it. plant pot but it's very corroded it's been wrapped in something fabric or something hmm See the tiny dog's head there. We often go unnoticed. Here is a little wheel, a little toy wheel, but it's all broken. There's a round thing down here. What's that? <gasps> oh my god! It's an eye! It's an eye! Look, it's an eyeball! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, we've not found one like that before. No, look at it, it's a round it's, um, one. I thought it was like a little bottle or something. It's um, like a blowing glass eye. The other ones we've got are like pinched. And it's grey. Oh my goodness, oh, wow. look how detailed it is. I love it. Look at it. <laughs> Fantastic. And this is my first eye find. And it's an absolute beauty. 
and it differs from the other eyes that we found in the past, well, Alex has found, um, which are all sort of pinched glass eyes. Yeah. Um, this has been blown, hand blown. It, it's absolutely amazing, the detail in there. I know, look at the iris. It's crazy, and we absolutely love it. So it's, it's our first round blown glass eye, and it's going to go great in our collection. We'll show you the others right now because I've actually got them on the table here. So here's our collection! Don't they look amazing in the sun? They are. They're beautiful. So some of the pinched eyes, and these are the pinched eyes because, well, they're pinched on the backs. Some of them are hollow, so these two are hollow. And this one and this one are solid glass. Yeah, um, they're all made slightly differently, aren't they? Actually, when you shaded them... You can see them better. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see them a bit better now. See how this this eye is kind of like it's the details it, on the surface. Yeah, it's beautiful. But this eye, it it's like inside, inside and there's like clear glass on top. It certainly was a specific skill, mm. very skilled thing. Um, I think there a lot of them were made in Birmingham. You know, there yeah. were glass eye makers. Um, Birmingham, yeah. That, that started to make doll's eyes in Birmingham, so yeah. But I'm wondering if the different techniques, they've been made in different yeah, places. Yeah, in different places. Yeah, so maybe some of them were made on the continent. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. This is my eyeball that I found, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Doesn't take much. No, it's really cool though. We've never found one. <laughs> Not like that. No. That's your first eye. It's the first eye. Alex finds all the eyes. This is my first one and I love it. Okay, so I've got a little collection of things that I found here that I wasn't filming because I, I got too excited when I got to this bit because we were finding so much. It's a little ink bottle. There's a little stoneware. Another hand pipe. Well, that's half a marble. I don't think I'll keep that. Um, a cute little probably a marking ink bottle. I think I can see remnants of it inside. And another really cute little bottle. So yeah, this is my little stash. So I'm going to carry on looking. So come on. Don't usually film at the actual searching process. But, um, yeah, it looks like we're finding find after find really in quick succession, but we can actually go an hour sometimes between finds. It takes a lot of patience. So. 
So yeah, I'll come back on the next find. There's a lot of these lying around. That one is knackered, thank goodness. There's another one here. And that one's got the heel chipped off it. I'll leave them here in a pile, just in case someone does want them. Sticking out, what's this? Little bottle? Yeah, it's a little bear slip. What's that? I don't know. Some sort of like Bakelite thing. Maybe off a pipe, but I'm not sure. Guys, I've just had another look at this because it has something sticking out the end, look. It's not focusing. That is a slate pencil that someone has made a handle for. Now I can't get it back in. I don't know if that is a thing. Was that a thing? Yeah, because it kind of just like terminates on the end. Maybe it is. Maybe there's some sort of patented pencil holder or something. That is new to me. I really like that. Either that or it's been deliberately modified. Maybe it is a pipe, like a pipe or something. It's got like a groove cut out of it there. Or maybe it's been modified for someone who's like disabled, you know, had some sort of disability and they've like modified this slate pencil so it's easier to write with. I don't know, but I like that. That's really cool. And I've spot some more um, clay pipes down here, but a little pour, look, a green pouring bottle, some sort of medicine bottle. Isn't that so cute? Look at the little lip. I love that. This is a great um, little part of the tip over here, actually. Look at this pencil. Not seen anything like this before. I thought it was a bit of like a smoking pipe, but it's a slate pencil and a bit of Bakelite, like a holder. Oh. It's like got a little holder. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Never seen anything like that before. Unless that was... Meant to be like that. I don't know. I think someone might have used something else to make a holder for it. That's or weird. could it be like someone who's like been disabled or something? in some way and they've modified it to make it easier to write with. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? Oh, and I found this little pouring bottle. Oh, isn't that cute? I love that. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> yeah. Is this the next find? Is it whole? Yes, it is. It's another one of these cute little stonewares. I like these because sometimes they have tiny fingerprints on them of the children who worked in the pottery. There's one, look. Um, and they'd pick them up to take to the drying room or whatever and leave their little fingerprints on. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. What We've we found some... Well, I found something down here, I spotted it and I thought, right? Because we find lots of pottery that's got gilding on it. But I don't think this is pottery. Is it Can you gold? see it? I think oh, it's actually got. Wow. No! <gasps> it's a tooth! <gasps> it's a. Cut it out! It's oh, a gold. Oh! No way! It's a gold <gasps> denture! Oh, oh! And it's got a tooth it's on it! It's got a tooth in it! It's a gold denture plaque oh, with a tooth. Oh my goodness! goodness. I made some strange Wait, noises there, but I'm, I'm sorry, I was so excited. I'm just looking to see if there's any teeth. No, I think that's it. It's not broken. There's no broken... Well, the teeth are broken off it, but the um, gold is intact. We were just saying... We were we just... Find, I know. We were just talking about we were talking to a, We were talking to a bottle digger about the, like, the kind of things we like to find and we, that we... Weren't we? We were saying... We were saying to this saying? this lovely bottle digger that we just met, we were saying, oh, we found like precious metals before and we love finding teeth. And then we just found gold and a tooth. It's so heavy. No way. No way. That is a big chunk of gold. I'm so happy. That is amazing.
That is the find of the day. And I thought your eye was the, gonna be the find of the day. Oh, no. I just made some weird noises there. You just trumped me so Yeah, badly. I did. I, I, I think I won. I think that takes the biscuit, I think, you know. Oh my goodness. Well, that is so, I am, that. I know, I know you can grams feel. Of gold there. Yes, oh my goodness. I am absolutely it's chuffed. Find of the day, it's find of the month, yeah. Well, here she is, all cleaned up, and um, it's pretty amazing. What a find. It is great. I, I've, like, this has been a bucket list find to find a gold, um, like, tooth plaque. Palette. Palette yeah. plaque. I don't know what it's called. It's a palette, I think. <laughs> um, but, unfortunately, we've got some bad news. Well, it's not that bad. It's <laughs> not that bad. But it's not actually solid gold. You can see on the edge here... Um, where the gold has come away and it looks like some sort of um, alloy underneath, some sort of copper alloy. Yeah, well, they couldn't have made it solid gold, could they? It would be far too expensive. Yeah, probably. And um, it probably would have been heavier than it is as well. I think these pins are actually solid gold. Yeah, the pins themselves might be, yeah. yeah. We, don't, we don't know. But the tooth is very loose. I've actually put a bit of blue tack on there just to hold it in place. Um, and I think this is like, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure. It kind of looks like ivory. Yeah. Can you see the little holes in it? I thought it was like porcelain at first, but I'm not sure. Or it might be a real human tooth, I don't know. Yeah, could be. They did reuse like yeah, real yeah. human teeth, didn't they? Well, people sold their teeth. And uh, you can see inside there's like a silvery coloured tube. And it's like bright, shiny silver, which makes me think that's like... Platinum? Platinum, yeah. Or like palladium or something? Probably like platinum. platinum. See how shiny it is yeah. and silver. If that was silver, it would be black. Yeah. So I'm thinking exactly. platinum. See, it's all shiny in there. So yeah. that's so interesting. Um, what an absolutely fantastic find. I'm so chuffed with this. Actually, here, you, can you see this like scratch mark there? It looks quite fresh, doesn't it? I reckon that's where the bottle diggers yeah. hit it. That little scratch there, yeah, see it yeah. shiny. Definitely. <laughs> and chucked it out. Yeah. Just chucked it away. Just threw it away. <laughs> Thankfully, because we found it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing gets past us. Um gold solid gold or not, it's still an impressive like thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's wonderful. amazing. What a thing to find. We go in our tooth collection. But yeah, I think that's the find of the day, definitely. My find of the day anyway. Look what Alex found. I, you know Look. what? I can't even tell you how exciting this is. I've always wanted to find something like that. That is, I don't know, even know what carrot it is, but can you see how shiny it is? Yeah. Probably 24 because that pure gold you see is soft enough to, to model into yeah. that shape. And it's also, it doesn't tarnish and that's why they used it. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. I'm so happy. <laughs> Find of the day. So on that very happy note, I really hope that is actually solid gold. It yeah. would be amazing if it was. So just keep your fingers crossed so we can like check it out at home. But yeah, we want to say a great big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our video, who has liked this video and left a comment down below on the comment section. And, and of a, course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> All of our wonderful patrons on Patreon yes. who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much. Another little pot here. I'll put this one inside of that. Oh, doesn't fit really. Whether or not they'll get stuck. Yeah, a nice little pot there that I can paint. It's a heart. Lovely piece of spongeware here. Look at this. It's another little bottle. Oh, look. Another cute little bottle. Look, crystals in it. They look a bit dodgy. To be careful when I'm cleaning that. That looks suspiciously like a head. Oh, hello there. There's a lady with a quite fabulous looking hat, look. <laughs> Haven't found a figurine head for a little while actually. 
And she should be quite pretty once her face is cleaned up. It's a bit muddy, a bit like mine. Mine's a bit muddy as well. Same, sister. What's this? I think it's a little sixpence. Yeah, possibly a sixpence. And just a quick mention, the little coin that I found, I have actually been able to identify it. It's in pretty bad condition, but it's one Fenning, which is a German coin, and it dates from the end of the 19th or the beginning of the 20th century. So perhaps a First World War souvenir or something. Mm, never yeah. know, but yeah, interesting. It is, and I, I was surprised that you actually managed to clean up so you could see it because it was in pretty bad condition. There, it says Fenning. Yeah. The date is there, but we can't quite make it out. But it does look like 18. It does, yeah. So I'm yeah. thinking it's 1890 something. Yeah. I think this is another caster wheel for my giant bead string. Fantastic. Oh, no way. It's got a big chip out of it. I can't keep it. Sorry. But there is a big... A big old stoneware here, but that's also got a chip out of it. Oh, I can't keep that either. That's the rules. Got to be perfect because we've got too much stuff. Mm. A little button might have a name on it that I can read. Look at this. It's like horse hair. Bristles off a brush sure what kind of bristles but an animal that's been dead for a very long time oh what's this this is nice look I'm gonna zoom in look it's screwed into something That's interesting. I wonder what that is. Made of brass. Alex has just found this. It's a little bottle. Beautiful little bottle. It's a little, it's a little oh, perfume bottle. Look at that. It's so cute. It's I love got it. A few like chips out of the. Oh, neck. that doesn't matter. But it's so cute, isn't it? I love it. It's so precious. That's a random bit of metal. But um, I love that. Isn't it great? It's beautiful. It is. What's this? It's a bit of leather with studs in it. Probably off horse harness or something. And at the corner of my eye, I spotted something else. And it's a cod marble. Oh, that's our first cod marble. I haven't found a cod marble for like over a week. So that's good. <laughs> so she's found treasures. Can you spot them? Let's see if I can see them. Oh. Oh. No. It's all right. There's nothing there. It's just a... Uh... Is that something there? Yes. <laughs> something else. Um, in close proximity to that. Yeah, fairly. Right, so that this sort of way, you know. Is that something there? Oh yeah, it's a marble. Well, and what's this? A little gem. Oh. oh yes, it's a little. Let me see him in. It's agate. It's oh, Can you wow. see the bells in it? Yes, that's beautiful. It's a rose <gasps> cut chalcedony. That is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the bands in it. Can you see it? Not really. No. The light's not very good. There's a faint banding in it, so it's, it's some chalcedony. But look, it's rose cut. Isn't that so beautiful? That's gorgeous. We'll have to make something like that. Oh, look. Oh, look. oh yeah, I found that before. It's got a chip in it. It's like cut glass ink it's, bottle. Yeah, it's a shame it's chipped. Yeah. But isn't that cool? It I is. love that and a marble, of course. But Fantastic. It's, it's just a plain one, but I love that. That's yeah, that. That's to be some jewellery. That is gorgeous. Spotted. Looks like the bottom of a jar down here or like a bottle or something. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. 
It's whole. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh wow! Look, it's like bicolored. It's oh, a bristle way. You know, oh, it's still the cork still in the bottom. Can you see that? Can you see the cork? Yeah. I've never seen one that shape. Ah, oh, we we do not have a it's bottle. A of, oh, look, there's um. Ghost of a label. Yeah, something. A label was on there. Oh, and is that interesting? Mark, like maker's mark. C A B. Oh, something to look up. Yeah. I like that. I like that very much. I love how this, the, the cork is still in there as well. I wonder what it was. I love it. So this pot, it's a work of art, I think. I think it's, a, it's an absolute beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? I just it's love how it's made. It's just perfect. I mean, the, this is handmade, hand-thrown yeah, yeah, pot. Yeah. The lovely squat shape of it and this lovely detailing around yeah, the top. Yeah, like the mustard glaze. I believe it's called Bristol Ware. This like bi-coloured um, sort of stoneware stone look. Wear, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's really squat and I love the big lip. But um, Mum found out some information about it um, based on this stamp here. So it turns out it's actually a pickle jar. And... Um, not well. You found out that it was uh, what was it? Pickles or pickled oysters? Pickle, like oyster which sound jar. Absolutely disgusting. Ugh. And we we found some similar, but not as like squished. Like yeah, a squat, this is the squattest this one. one. It's so lovely. So this pickle or oyster pot was made by George Skees Wincott Works in Tamworth, Staffordshire. The pottery made stoneware items, including flagons, pickle jars, beer, and ink bottles. Some were made to order for some very famous companies, including Harrods of London, and in this case, Cross and Blackwell, who were established in 1706 and are still going today. Um, so this particular pot was made for a Cross and Blackwell. Yeah, right? it says C and B, just there. And there, and the funny little like triangular logo as well. Yeah, that's not the Cross and Blackwell logo. So I'm wondering if that's the. Um... Oh, like the, the pottery logo. Yeah. I love this little jar. I think it's one of my favourite stoneware jars, yeah. or if not my favourite stoneware jar Me that we too. found. I love it. It was in a very stained, rusty stained it condition was. when we found it. I'm surprised it wasn't taken by the digger. Yeah. Um, and I love how it's still got the cork inside as well. You can yeah. hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's been pickled, so it's preserved. Another little button. I just found this lovely little piece of pottery and look, it's like a terrace with a plant in a pot and a view in the background. How lovely! What's this down here? It's a lid but oh, it's got a chip. That's a shame.
make sure it's like pushed on there. The window wonders. Oh, and we've got the teeth to put in. Where? Our teeth. Where? Somewhere. Must be there for now. Yeah. Barbie will look after it. So we hope you enjoyed this week's video and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll, and we'll see, see you again, again next week. week.